The quake struck at 2:46 p.m. local time. It's been followed by a series of powerful aftershocks. The meteorological agency issued a tsunami warning for the entire Pacific coast of Japan. NHK has warned those near the coast to get to safer and higher ground. The Pacific Tsunami Warning Center in Hawaii said the tsunami warning was in effect for Japan, Russia, Marcus Island, and the Northern Marianas. A tsunami watch has also been issued for Guam, Taiwan, the Philippines, Indonesia, and the U.S. state of Hawaii. The quake struck at a depth of 10 kilometers, about 125 kilometers off the eastern coast of Honshu Island, about 380 kilometers northeast of Tokyo. Thirty minutes after the quake, tall buildings were still swaying in Tokyo, and mobile phone networks were not working. Yang Ye, CCTV. Okay, for more information, for more information on the uh, following of the quick hitting northeast of uh, Japan, we'll now cross over to our correspondent Eugene in South Korea to see uh, if if any uh, impact of the tsunami on South Korea. Hello, Eugene, can you hear me? Yes, hi there, I can hear you very well. Okay, first of all, uh, According to your knowledge, do you have any information about any South Koreans uh, uh, in Sandai area? Well, the information that I've gathered so far tells me that um, there has been no impact, um, and no South Koreans within the area have been reported to be, um, to be have, have been impacted by the tsunami yet, but mm -hmm. it is still early to tell us. It has only mm -hmm. been about three or four hours since the tsunami broke out in the area. Um, within South Korea, an average person living here would not have felt a thing, although um, experts say that um, a magnitude of below 7 was detected um, uh, recently during uh, when when the, uh, when Japan was impacted uh, by the tsunami. But again, there has, there's very little, very low possibility that the earthquake or tsunami would affect South Korea in the nearest future, although we cannot rule out the um, entire possibility of that uh, yet either. Experts here say that um, it seems that both the uh, Pacific and the North American plates have collided, which has caused this, um, this earthquake, but South Korea is located 1,000 kilometers or more away from that particular area, so for now, um, it seems okay within South Korea. Um, but the Meteorological Administration in Korea says that already this year, six times this year, um, an earthquake of some uh, degree has been felt in South Korea and three of them near Jeju Island. So we're still uh, not ruling out the possibility that uh, we are completely safe in South Korea. Um, and uh, lots of uh, the airports have shut down, Narita, Sendai, and uh, Haneda airports kind of shut down, which has led to a lot of flights being canceled, flying out of South Korea, and uh, many people have canceled or at least called in to uh, lots of the tourist offices to, to, uh, to cancel their flights. And um, the South Korean Foreign Ministry is trying to look into how many people are in Japan and if Japanese government needs any assistance. Um, already the Central Rescue Team has people on standby as well. Okay, thank you, Eugene. We have uh, other information coming into uh, CCTV News. We'll go talk to you later. Okay, thank you. In these places, tsunamis have been observed. This is as of 6 p.m. this evening, and tsunamis have been arriving. So apart from the areas I have mentioned, there have been other places where the ha tsunami has hit land. And for aftershocks, strong aftershocks, many strong aftershocks have taken place. For a while, these aftershocks will continue. Please remain vigilant and be cautious regarding the aftershocks. And I will conduct my briefing according to the information we have provided to you. And we have been distributed with, uh, with data on the distribution of earthquakes exceeding magnitude 8.4, which have taken place in the past. 
Historically, the magnitude scale was different from what we have now, so a simple comparison is not possible. But a magnitude 8.8 .8 is one of the largest we have, or the largest we have experienced in Japan. And our say, seismic devices and measuring devices, since they have been in operation, 8.8 .8 magnitude is the largest we have recorded.